On day 19, Darius has bought his first class tickets on the William Tell Express, and we'll be looking at this part of the country. This is Devon the Explorer's room. At the Hotel Bumble. Welcome to my country. I am so glad you decided to take the William Tell Express. You get to ride on a boat on the lakes around Luzerne. This is an important area for our country. It is the area I shot the apple off my son's head. And also right here on this lake is where I escaped during the storm. You'll probably see the chapel that marks that site. Also in this area up in the hills, the first three cantons came together to form the Swiss Confederation. It will be hard to see that site from the boat though. Then you get on a train and head into the Goddard Pass. This has been a route between Switzerland and Italy for thousands of years. The train will not be able to climb the steep grade up the pass, so we inventive Swiss have cut spiral tunnels into the mountain to get it to gain altitude, and on the other side to help it lose altitude. These are indeed Swiss marvels. Right now we are cutting a new tunnel that runs straight under the entire mountain and will be finished in just a few years. I hope that you get lots of wonderful views even if it is somewhat cloudy today. Then you arrive at the end of the line in Lugano. You'll think you're in Italy and not Switzerland. And soon you'll be just that as you cross the border into Italy to spend the next few nights above Pont Teresa. Well I guess I need to get you on your way on this journey and I'll get back up there posing for these people to take pictures of me. So long. Let's listen to Rossini's William Tell Overture as we take a ride on the William Tell Express.
Today we have taken a car to Luzerne, a boat through the lakes, a train through the central part of the country, down to Lugano. Then we took a local train to Ponte Tressa, and then walked across into Italy, where we'll spend the night.